a couple of weeks ago I made the Tri EM2 video because people were using it and it is also quite good in the current meta. Or so I thought, and then I noticed that less and less people were using the M2 in the lobbies. And since I also said that this mythic is safe to get in my mythics review video, I decided to give it a second try in the current meta game. And it was still good. But what I've noticed is that sometimes the ADS tracking is not the best. Like it is a bit awkward when you're shooting and trying to track down a moving enemy. And another thing I've noticed is when the agent C suppressor the silencer, it also reduces your bullet speed. Even though the ranger barely increases it a lot, but it is still a reduction. And so the current gameplay is with the silencer. I also got a whole video with this silencer gunsmith. And then I made a little change. And well, I suggest you try both variants, but when you swap the silencer with the B or foregrip, the underbarrel, what you can see the difference is that you get a better horizontal recoil. And also, the bullet speed is not reduced, so it is 8% faster. And essentially it makes the gun a bit easier to control and also faster bullet speed. And it is a good real improvement, which does help you control it better. And I would say that it would be a more viable choice in the current meta. Uh, but really you should try both variants and decide which works for you, just if the Aegis Suppressor is lacking then you can try not using it. And it is a really strong powerful gun, but it is a bit lacking against the Rage. And again the movement like ADS tracking is not the really best. It's good, but simply when they are guns that are easier to control, they will be preferred in light like, competitive rank lobbies. But otherwise it is really a good gun and the mythic is nice as well.